This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's now tackle our main navigation menu. Now, this is going to be a little bit more involved. I want to, of course, pull this main navigation menu into my red master div just below the green header. But it's going to be a little bit more involved because I simultaneously want to make our document a little bit more efficient, a little bit more, you know, easier to work with, I guess you could say. So I want to change the way that Dreamweaver is handling this main navigation menu. First of all, let me explain how things are happening at this point. And you can try this yourself on your end. Go ahead and grab one of your buttons there and then use your tag selector down in the bottom left corner to help you along. So I've got an image selected. That image is currently residing inside a div and that div is under the control of an ID selector called BUT dash. And then in my case, tour our dojo. So every single image resides inside its own div and every single div has a corresponding ID selector over inside the style list. Now, the way that Photoshop created this for us isn't necessarily wrong or bad, but again, what I wanna do is I wanna make things a little bit more efficient. I wanna streamline things. And you know, in your web design learning adventures, you kind of get to this point where you understand HTML, you understand CSS, you can pull off some pretty cool effects with these different technologies. And you kind of reach a point where you start figuring out different ways to work more efficiently and making more streamlined style sheets and HTML documents and so on. So rather than making use of, what do we have here? Nine, I think, ID selectors. Rather than nine, I want to use two. Rather than nine divs throughout the actual HTML, I want to use one, I think one, maybe two, I don't know. <laughs> Fewer than nine, <laughs> that's the important thing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of all of these ID selectors. We're going to get rid of all the divs inside our HTML. And then what we'll do is we'll start to restructure this main navigation menu. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of all these ID selectors. You can do so inside your CSS styles panel. That's fine. You saw how to do this earlier. Grab them all and use the trash can down at the bottom. I was trying this earlier and for whatever reason, my styles panel was not cooperating with me. So I'm going to do this inside code view. So I'm just going to flip over into my code view and give me a moment. I'm going to scroll up towards the top of my document where my styles are listed. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to toast them right out of the code view. So starting with BUT dash home, which is the home button, I'm going to basically click and drag all the way down to the last button, which is contact us. Now, if you're following me along doing this inside code view, make sure you grab the closing squiggly bracket there, the, the closing curly bracket there as well. That's part of this last ID selector. So grab all this stuff hit delete on your keyboard, maybe hold your breath and hit delete on your keyboard. There we go, they're gone. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to get rid of all the extra divs inside our HTML. So go ahead and scroll down into your body area of your page as a reference point. Mine happens to be on line 106. So perhaps yours is in and around there somewhere. And let's see, I'm just gonna, give me a, give me a second. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit so you can, visually see exactly what I'm doing. There's my, the opening tag for my master div. And then below that we have the header. You can almost visually kind of see the header there, right? With the graphic in it, visually meaning the design view, sorry. And then after that, we have all of the divs for our buttons. So there's the div for the home button. There is no longer an ID selector called BUT-home. However, there's the graphic, the actual button itself. And then below that, we have the next guy, Y Karate, and then Meet Your Sensei, and so on. So what I want to do is I want to toast all of these divs. So check this out. I'm going to start with home here. I'm going to select the opening div tag and the ID reference, that whole piece there, and delete it. And then I'll also delete the closing div tag as well. So all I'm left with is just the graphic. That's exactly what I want. So as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that for all of my menu items here. So I'm going to continue on here with Y Karate, and then I'll delete his closing div tag. 
And then I will toast the Meet Your Sensei opening div and then the closing div. And now I'm gonna to start to speed things up. I'm gonna to toast the closing div and simultaneously toast the opening div on the next guy there to our dojo. And eventually when I'm done here, I will have very simply just a list of buttons, which is exactly what we want. We wanna control these buttons here and that's what we're, that's what we're after here. Okay, just a few more to go here down to FAQ and then we have contact us. After contact us, we have to be careful here because we don't want to toast the opening div on the slideshow. Don't do that. That would be very bad. So just the closing div, the remaining closing div, and you can hit enter a couple of times. Again, just to sort of you know, visually space things out. And what I want to do here as well, I want to get rid of some of this extra white space. Essentially what I want is this, just a, a very simple list of my navigation buttons, something like this. And Photoshop has thrown in all kinds of extra white space for our benefit, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's see here. Get rid of all this stuff. I'm just using my delete key just to pull all that out. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Now I'm going to put the brakes on here and we'll continue this in the next exercise. But the plan is, I'll let you in on what we're going to do here. The plan is to wrap all of these buttons now inside a single div and get that div under the control of a new ID selector. And then we're also going to apply a little bit of CSS to each individual menu graphic itself. So we'll continue this, as I say, in the next exercise.